I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. James Bond. Mr. Bond, I suppose you wouldn't care to um, raise the limit? I have no objection. Everybody loves James Bond. He's the smoothest guy in cinema. He's the man every guy wants to be and every girl wants to be with. Unfortunately, every critic's go-to Bond favorite is one of my least favorites, Goldfinger. Now, I don't hate this movie. I do find enjoyment in it, but I can't stand how every time I ask a friend, what's your favorite James Bond movie? The response is Goldfinger. Sean Connery is James Bond, no question. I love how in Dr. No it establishes Bond as a covert Cold War black ops operative. From Russia with Love is a spy espionage battle royale packed with action thrills and secret agent gold. Then Goldfinger comes out and, uh, wow. Let's dive right into it. So Bond is no longer spying on or pit up against the terrorist organization Spectre. He's tasked with getting info on the shady deals of notorious gold smuggler, Goldfinger. But not long into the mission, he's captured by Goldfinger's second-in-command odd job, and for the rest of the movie, Bond is basically a prisoner of war. He doesn't do much after that. He makes one attempt to escape, but fails. Am I undermining the importance of these scenes? Yes, a little bit. But given that Bond is a captive for a majority of the movie, you don't really see him doing any spying or espionage. A lot of the scenes seem goofy. I mean, like, the spy car was cool, but the chase was sloppy. It honestly felt like the director forgot to use the car's features in the field and was all like, we should have Bond use all the gadgets at once. I hated that. Uh, the scene at the golf course, that was kind of boring, and I thought Bond and Pussy's relationship was really childish and lame. The villain was kind of cool, but his plan was ingenious. To plant an atomic bomb in Fort Knox to make his gold value greatly increase, I prefer to call it an atomic device. It's small, but particularly dirty. The scene where he and Bond sit down over a mint julep to discuss his plans is the stuff of movie legend. And I really wish the rest of the movie followed that formula. Other than that, Goldfinger wasn't anything special. Original? Yes. Ruthless? Yes. But other than that, he's not really that interesting or scary enough to be a threat to James Bond or Britain's national security for that which is why I never understood why British Secret Service would have a spy investigate his operation that to me just just really it made it made no sense there's not much action in this honestly there's less than 10 fistfights in the entire movie and Bond never fires his iconic Walter PPK I'm sorry for nitpicking but for a James Bond movie this bothers me and speaking of fistfights the odd job fight was awful Ajab's supposed to be this tough brute who kicks ass and is impervious to physical harm. The tension between him and Bond throughout the movie was legit. You just know these two are going to battle it out. And the first time I watched this, I was truly scared for James. Because you know Ajab is tough and deadly. Then the fight comes. And whoa, it sucked. Bond is cornered in the vault of Fort Knox and is chased by Ajab. They finally engage, and it's literally Bond getting pushed down and thrown in the most over-exaggerated way. Honestly, Ajab fought like a toddler wanting to cut in line for the swing set. And James, his attempt to defend himself was pathetic. He lands two punches and basically gives up after that. Yeah, he tried to use a metal pipe to hit him, but after that he makes no attempt to fight back. And that's not what James Bond is about. It made him look like a loser. I know they were going for the hero's no match for the villain and barely wins the fight, but it was horribly executed. The perfect example of that kind of fight is Indiana Jones vs. the Boxer in Raiders of the Lost Ark. I just hated this fight. The number one thing that bothered me very, very much is at the end of the movie, Goldfinger was defeated, his plans were thwarted, all the characters are congratulating James for saving the day, when he didn't do anything. Think about it. He was a captive the whole movie. It was Pussy who changed the poison gas canister on the plane. It was Felix Leiter who alerted the U.S. government and sent the soldiers to kill Goldfinger's henchmen. And again, it was Felix and his partner who disarmed the bomb, which ultimately stopped Goldfinger. James's only attempt of alerting anyone of Goldfinger's plot failed. And he never, got, he, he never got in the way of Goldfinger again. So basically, Bond is a useless character in his own movie. Like I said, this isn't a bad movie. And, you know, maybe my title was a little bit harsh. But I definitely don't think this is the best James Bond film. Anyway, that's my thought on the James Bond movie, Goldfinger. Like always, if you disagree, comment below. If you liked the video, subscribe. And comment what movie you want me to do next on Unpopular Opinion.